Hi guys, um, Terry here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to be looking at the solutions for the January 2021 question 5. Okay, so question 5. In the diagram below, right, it shows a rectangular tank. It has a base of 50 cm by 40 cm um that is used to store water the tank is filled with water to a depth of 15 cm the first part of the question calculate the volume of the water in the tank now all we're concerned about here is the water in the tank eh? right so we're going to use that's a cuboid so it's going to be length multiplied by breadth or width by height in this case here it's going to be 50 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 15 so we need to know that formula for the volume of a cuboid right so that's 50 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 15 and i'm going to get 30,000 right so this here is 30,000 and in this case here it is cm cube right because we're talking about volume so that's part a in part b now we have a cylindrical container right and shown in the diagram and it's used to fetch more water to fill the rectangular tank the container which is completely filled with water has a radius of 20 cm and a height of 21 right um what do they want they tell us what they take pi right so they told us to take pi as 22 over 7 right um so let me just write that here so i don't forget okay so all the volume, all the water in this container is added to the water in the rectangular tank. Calculate the total volume of the water that is now in the rectangular tank. So the first thing we need to do, we need to figure out the volume of this water here in this cylindrical tank, which is simply going to be the base area, right, multiplied by the height. So that's going to be pi r squared h. That's the formula to find the volume of a cylinder. So it's going to be 22 over 7 multiply by your radius squared in this case here is 20 over 1 by 20 over 1 i'm squaring the radius multiplied by 21 over 7 right because pi is 22 over 7 sorry 22 over 7 here right wait hold on what am i saying here oh sorry the height is 21 yeah so i had the correct thing 21 over 1 right so let me work that out here. So that's 22 over 7 multiplied by 20 by 20 multiplied by 21. And I'm going to get 26,400. So this here is 26,400 cm cube, right? So that's the volume of this, um, the water in this container here. Now the question says calculate the total volume of the water that is now in the rectangular tank. So basically, we are taking that cylinder and we are pouring all that water inside it so what we need to do we need to take the volume that we had before that's this 30,000 and we're going to add it to the volume of the cylinder so your total volume is equal to 30,000 plus this here which is 26400 right I mean double check today and this is yeah so this here is going to be 56,400 cm cube, right? So that's the total volume of the water that is in the um, in this rectangular container, right? Now the next thing that I want us to do, show. So when you get a, 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 an exam question that says show, you already know what the answer is. So the new depth, right, is 28.2. Now what is happening here, right? Remember, you poured water into this thing. So therefore, the height of this, um, the water inside here is going to increase, right? That's essentially what's gonna happen. The height of the water is going to increase. And what they want me to work out here now is this new depth, right? They want that new depth here. So all we're gonna do here, we know the total volume of the water that is in the container right so your volume of your water in the container is 56,400 
right? Now, the volume of a cuboid is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So all we need to do, we need to say length by width by height has to be equal to 56,400. Now, let's go back to the dimensions here. So the length, I'm going to take that as 50. The width is going to be 40. And this is the height that I'm trying to figure out. So it is 50 by 40 by each. So 50 by 40 multiplied by each is equal to 56,400. So therefore, each is 56,400 divided by 50 multiplied by 40. So therefore, my height is going to be 56,400 divided by 50 by 40. Right? And I'm getting 28.2 cm. Which is what they asked us to prove, right? So that's the answer there. And they said the vertical height of the tank is 40 ATM. Determine how many more cylindrical containers of water must be poured into the rectangular tank for it to be completely filled. So what's happening now, right? They are telling us that the total volume of the tank is for, sorry, the total height. So this is the height of the whole um, container right and so this here so let's make sure we understand this right so this here they are telling us is 48 cm right that's the volume of the container now look carefully at what we need to do we want to figure out right how much water does it take to completely fill this thing now so we're looking at this here right we need to figure out that volume of water that is required to completely fill the tank so to do that that's going to be easy because that's a cuboid again right so your volume of your water needed to fill tank right is going to be length by width by height because that's how we're gonna determine that that missing water that water that's on top there right the dimensions now will be 40 by 50 so this is gonna be 40 multiplied by 50 multiplied by the height now the height here right is this height we're talking about here right and that's going to be 48 minus the answer we got in the previous part of the question. This 28.2, right? So this is going to be 48 minus 28.2. Yeah, 40 minus 28.2. So this is the water that is required to fill the tank. So that's 40 by 50 multiplied by 48 minus 28.2. And that's going to give me 39,600. Now, this is the amount of water needed to fill the container. Now, let's read the question carefully. They said how many more cylindrical containers. So, um, number of cylindrical containers Right, is going to be the total missing volume here, which is 39,600 divided by the volume of one of the cylindrical container, which is this figure here, 26,400. So this is 26,400. And this should give me 1.5. So it's taken one and a half right, more containers in order to fill this thing. Right? All right, guys. So this is question six, right? Um, please hit like and subscribe, right? And for those of you who are looking for online CSEC, CSEC maths, chemistry, ad maths, and physics, right? This is how you can reach me here via WhatsApp, right? Take care, guys.